to our main segment. It's coming in. Oh. It's, right, it's like right here. It is right here. Main segment. All right, our main segment today, we are going to discuss how breweries have found themselves on the rise. Uh, so we're going to dive into the world of real ale. We'll under, uncover the extraordinary journey that has revolutionized the craft beer industry. That's right. That's right. Craft That's right. breweries have emerged, um, you know, as the pioneers of the brewing world. Uh, they challenge the traditional norms and they re- redefine what it means to enjoy a beer. Yeah. And in the latter part of the last decade or so, or recent years, there's been an explosion. That wasn't a very good explosion. Of these small scale breweries. Uh, where passion meets creativity. Uh, which yielded a whole new array of flavors and experiences, yeah. right? Experience. Experiences, yeah. It's all about the experience. Um, the uh, As anything that rises, it must fall. The hero um, must fall. The hero must fall. Um, you know, and, and we're kind of in that a little bit right now, right? The craft beer industry, um, or even stating that it has peaked, it is, it is definitely on a, a bit of a fall right now. But it, it's gone through this wave before, and it has jumped back up, and we saw a lot of consolidation, and we saw a lot of different trends that we're starting to see today. Yeah. Yep, yep, um, yep. And, and it's not surprising, because history has a habit of repeating itself. Fascinating. Uh, <laughs> um, so, to give some hope in what we might call the dark downtime of the craft beer scene. At least um, the dark ages in beer isn't infested with rats spreading the black plague truth at least that we know of yeah at least that we know of <laughs> um, craft beer pride craft brewers pride themselves on using only the finest ingredients yep. ensuring that each sip is a masterpiece uh, from locally sourced hops to unique yeast strains these artisans create beers that are a true reflection of their craftsman craftsmanship which is why the surge and perhaps sudden plateau. It's a hard job to maintain that much creative creativity. It's exhausting. And it, All and, the time. And on top of it, it's not even just like maintain it. It's just a lot of people caught up, right? Like Yeah. Yeah. Think of like the hazy craze coming out. Like hazies were all over. And then it kinda of had a point where it was like Yeah. That was on my to do list too, mm-hmm. the rise and fall of hazies. Hazazies. Like Huzz- Hazazies. Hazazies. All right. Uh, yeah, like, you just kind of hit a point where you're like, man, I've kind of had a lot of those aren't tasting as unique as they did for a while, and that just, it just is what it is. It's hard to, you, I mean, you summarize it up nice with, like, it's hard to maintain that level of creativity, but there's also, I think, beyond that of... You summarized it. A lot of people, a lot of breweries just start repeating the breweries around them. It, it just, whether it's creative or not, if someone's just going to... Copy it like it's now. Think, not think, creative. think of our friend Kevin from a couple weeks ago. Not your Kevin, uh, volleyball Kevin, and he was like, "I don't even like going into breweries anymore because it's the same IPA and it's yeah. the same pale ale and it's the same mm. lager." And you're like, "Bummer!" Yeah. Especially from people that really, really love the craft beer scene, right? Yeah. But I mean, that's the tangent that we went on there before, right? Like, have an experience, right? Get to know your people, make yeah. it more interesting. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, uh, it's never just about the taste when we're talking about these crafts that are brewed. It's about the community. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Craft breweries have become hubs of social interaction. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come here often? All right. <laughs> anyway, um, it's about bringing people together. <laughs> To savor these brews, right? Experience the art together. And dear God, can we get a meet the brewer event? I mm. really, those are just way overlooked. And I feel I like, ask about them if you're going in or maybe bring it up to your boss, yep. tap or manager. Anyway. Uh, yeah, they're great. They're great events. It creates a lively conversation. It does. I do believe that it would. And what sets craft breweries apart uh, from your favorite domestic domestic beer? Right. Well, what is it? Is it's their dedication to experimentation. Yeah. Right. Going above and beyond. No flavor combination is off limits. Right. We can get creative as you want to do, leading to the birth of countless innovative and unexpected brews that push beyond the boundaries of what we ever thought beer would or could be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, I feel like a lot of goals is to hit 
make beer be as prestige as wine, right? Like, I'm not saying wine also isn't on a bit of a plateau because there's like kind of just a not a whole lot of drinking trend going on currently. But <laughs> in honor of Dry expensive. January, yeah. <laughs> we've created Hops Anonymous. Hops Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> Downing all your hop flavored water <laughs> to still get your hop flavored tastes. Yum. Uh, <laughs> breweries <laughs> emphasize on quality, creativity, and community. The craft breweries uh, are reinvigorating the art of brewing, captivating sure. both connoisseurs and newcomers alike. So next time you rise a pint, take a moment to appreciate the craftsmanship behind the sip because. There, there, there usually is a lot of love and passion and, and then you throw in like the names, like there's just so many pieces that I if you can really get in, when you, if you really start like loving those pieces, like why you bring up, made the, read the birds cause you're hitting, you're meeting the artist behind it. Right. Like I want to meet Picasso, Brewer Picasso. Yeah. Like tell, uh, also, tell me, tell me about what, like why you put this line here, what this was about. Mm-hmm. Like. And maybe that's part of the stress of why brewers don't like doing it because they're like, I don't know, because it was on sale, so we got those hops. Like, and maybe because it's... they're not like that typical artist that can't wait to have their showcase yeah. out on New York the, main streets. The and... master of BS. <laughs> mm. Well, maybe they just need someone to do it for them. Yeah. You know? Well, that's what marketing's for. That's right. <laughs> but like in general, the it gives us great way to make your beers still be the hero. Because, you know, a lot of times we do talk about creating this uh, unique and this environment and and entertainment. Mm -hmm. But one of, we were reading through comments and there was this, more than one person was really surprising talking about how they don't really care about the the environment. They want a good beer, which was not the common statement, but we were like, okay, we need to like take a moment and appreciate that. For sure. <clears throat> and For sure. my favorite was I've never been to an environment that was so good it made a crappy beer taste better. <laughs> that was hilarious <laughs> to me. I was, was like, a oh, well, touche. Yep. So kind of what we're trying to emphasize here is you can still create a, a really awesome environment and an awesome culture around the beer. But yeah. it's really hard to do that without the brewers being part of that and, and talking about it and talking about the same, like how easy is it for you have a new shipment of new grains to come in or yeast or fruits or something and you take a picture of it and you're like, oh, what do you think we're going to brew? Set up your GoPro, right? What Get do you think we're brewing this week? What kind of flavors are we? What kind of beer is this going to be? Like you can play with your audience mm-hmm. and still make the beer be the hero and you don't have to necessarily run oodles of events. But yeah, like you'd probably want to emphasize flights in your marketing. You probably want to do meet the brewers. You probably want to do food pairings, right? Like, But this is, are all events that are putting beer as the hero, as yeah. your culture builder. Yeah. And that's awesome to do. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's really hard if you have brewers that don't want to be part of it or aren't it's doing tap t- tap takeovers are a great way to like oh, really yeah. focus on the beer. Yeah. But again, you need someone there. Like. People like talking to the brewer. Like, and I know it kind of sucks. You can be front of the house. You can be all these other parts of the business, but people like talking to the brewer. Mm -hmm. And so hiring a brewer that is social is not a bad investment. And honestly, you probably should pay them a little bit more because there's few few of them. They're their own little little niche of people that actually like to come out and talk. But I mean, when they do. It's like having a good sales engineer. Yes. Right. But like, oh man, like it's just so fun when you have a brewer that wants to come out and they're passionate and they want to talk about what they're doing. I think that's a really good point. Really good point. Um, who, uh, Kodiak, who is their brewer that is brought in from left hand? Brett, Brad. I can't remember his name. He was fantastic, though. We'll put his name in it. Like, he was so sociable, and he loved talking about I why he named the beers. It's Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. It is Jeff, yep. Like, why he loved brewing beers, what, like, ingredients he did, how he kept stuff clean. Like, he was just so passionate about the whole process that it was hard not to be captivated with his passion in it. Yeah. And Steven's again, good for that, too. Yeah, that Steven's model. also great for that. But yeah. he puts himself out there. Yeah. You watch their videos, it's him and packing the malts. Yep. Yeah. And it's, it's sweet. It's not complex. It's not hard marketing to do, mm-hmm. but it's And again, and if you don't want to do it, it, or you can't find someone that's willing to put themselves out there... Have a representative do it, right? Come put a a malt bag over their head and just dump some... I'm just kidding. (laughs) Hello, I'm Brewer Malt. (laughs) Like Marshmallow, the song person. I don't know if he's a rapper. That would be hilarious. Write that down. It's just a big hop head that the brewer We should do a a whole... To tap into the homebrew hashtags, we should wear a bag on our head and do... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> home brewing home brewing 
brewing we'll, our we'll brains. It, we'll call it bag on head brewing. <laughs> bag on head home brewing. Put a bag on it, home brewing. <laughs> Put a bag. It sounds like a condom company. <laughs> Unwrap the magic. Beer goggles. <laughs> They're not a real thing. They're not a real thing. Oh but my yeah. gosh. Okay, Anyways, that was yeah. awesome. That was a good. Um... Sorry. Yeah, no. I it, keep thank you. No, you're good. I'm done. That's, that's all I got. That was I think really it's, good. I think it's cool. Make make that beer the hero. Make you don't the have magic to, happen. You don't have to shy away from it. We're not we're not trying to take away from good beer no. deserves no. an appreciation. It deserves an audience. We're just saying like, do something with it. Make it fun. Have it. Have a good time with it. Marketing should be fun. It should be fun and yeah. less stressful. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I appreciate that. And thank you for watching our dive into the world of craft breweries, as we oh. always are, swimming amongst the malts and hops. Um, this, this week's episode is brought to you by Mustard Later. Ooh. Ooh, the craft beer digital marketing and influencing hub when you don't have time to catch up. You mustard later. You know why that matters? Why does that matter? Because we love marketing and love we it. have a lot of fun with it. Yes. And if you're a brand and you want your, your brand to be fun, we're pretty good at that. If you do not want your brand to be fun, we would probably not be a good hire. I would put a bag on my head for you. <laughs> If, 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 if we needed the money bad yeah. enough, for sure. If we needed the money bad enough. <laughs> yeah, you ever feel like for a little consulting call, we can kind of help get you on yep. the right track. That's we've right. we've done it you. once or twice or Couple four or five or six, seven, five, six, a handful. Uh, so, yeah, hit us up, shoot us an email, give us a call. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Put it in the comments. Yeah. Put it in the comments. <laughs> Have any questions? Put those in. We might answer them, get you some free advice because comments are sweet. They are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, beer lovers. We're moving on. Bye.